and welcome to the Honest Football Podcast, Discuss. In light of the new rule changes from the IFAB, we're going to discuss both the pros and mainly the cons and the impact that it's going to have on world football. Yes, so we are going to talk about some of the, let's talk about, well, I would call it the highlights, but it's not really the well, highlights, it's the lowlights of the recent it's changes. It's the weird ones. The weird ones, they're not just weird, they're absolutely awful. Can I just come out, I don't normally get that wound up about stuff uh, to do with football outside of football. I mean, I get a bit annoyed by stuff. This is genuinely, and I'm not just saying, this has genuinely pissed me off beyond belief. I cannot cannot fathom what we've been it's, uh, it's, about it's to one, go It's through. one of those when you like you get a cup of tea in your hand and then you take a little sip and you read it and you spit your tea out and you're like, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> What's his Mate, like, you, I'm sorry. Like that moment just then. <laughs> yeah, I found my iron brew with the What a lovely analogy. We're not going to top that tonight. But what I wanted to do is talk about the things we love about football, just so we can see how much these rule changes contradict it. Okay. So compared football to most other sports, mm. I'm a cricket fan, but even I have to admit it. Other yep. games where there's breaks between points and that. What is one of the best things about football? It's quick. It's high yeah. tempo. Agreed. Yes. Yeah, love the hundred percent. It's constantly moving. You see plenty of action. It's end to end. So one of the things that surprises me is Craig, as a man who likes to win football games at all costs. Just say you win football games. That's yeah. everyone else should be. What <laughs> is the what is the most important thing you must do if you were to win a game of football? Put the ball in the net. Exactly. Score goals. So the most important things are the flow of the game and scoring goals. Yeah. Yet these rules almost entirely and exclusively yeah. try to prevent that. If you were to summarise these new rules, then so that, I, that would be they're actually taking goals out of the game. So shall I just go one let's down start, one? Let's start well, with do, the what's first a quick one. backstory? So you got the the IFAB is is basically the British Isles or yes, whatever you call and, it and FIFA. Yes. And they, so they, they are the lawmakers of the game. Yes. Right, okay. So that's so what I'm up to. I'm just gonna list them one by one. There are some highlights and some low ones, but we'll just mention them as we go along. So let's start with handballs, something that's been a grey area for yeah. years. Uh, we saw a controversial one during the week in the Champions yeah, League. Yeah, uh, Kimpembe's handball uh, from Diego uh, Dallo's shot. And let's which be honest. basically gave United the uh, uh, away goal win. And it divided opinion. But handballs <laughs> in goal scoring situations will no longer have to be deliberate. Who said they were anyway? Yeah, yeah. Uh, following a decision made by the World Football rule making body on Saturday. So now. What, from this Saturday? No, the decision was made on Saturday for oh, next season. Right. Not Sorry. Clear, but, Sorry. but let's be honest, it happened a long time ago. Yeah, I'm, I will say this one out of all of them was, the, I say rational in the loosest sense of the word. I don't agree with it, but it, it, it was sort of something that I think we all sort of knew anyway. It's not the most ridiculous one, but... When, when do you know when it's well, deliberate handball? What, so what we're saying, uh, what, what annoys me a little bit about this one is that you've got, it's in the area is a penalty or in, in free kick instantly, yet a yard... The other side of that line, it's a bit more interpreted. I don't understand. This is one of the the rules that I was generally positive towards in Mm. terms of taking away the deliberate thing because even though I don't agree that it should be a penalty for everything, at least Mm. it takes away the grey area. All we ask for is consistency. Let's obviously let's let's use um, the PSG one from uh, last week as an example. Yes. Would you obviously we we all thought at the time it's not a penalty. No, no, because that wasn't point. deliberate. No. But this, this will take away yeah. that grey area. That yeah. debate is like so so handball. So, so handball is handball now. Exactly. So if it hits yes. your arm, that's it. However, go on. However, the rule of intent still applies to the decision on what card is given. Sorry, that's what, understandable. So if it is deliberate intent, red card, if it right. denies a goal if or a goal scoring yeah, yeah, opportunity. That's fine. Yeah. If not, it's a yellow or nothing. Right, so yeah. referee decides. However, you've then put the grey area back in that you've just taken mm. out. <laughs> just but then again, like, yeah. not, it, not every time a ball hits the hand is going to be, a, it should be a yellow card. It, so, sometimes it's just uh, yeah. accidentally it just hits you. you I don't, don't, I don't But again, you're putting a grey area yeah. in, so which means it's going to be inconsistent. Yeah, so obviously not every handball is a yellow card for me. It just happens to be there. Exactly. So, so it, you've got to interpret that rule using common sense. Yeah. So, to, so as, the ball as, ricochets off you, like your chest and then hits your arm, like say you're trying to control it, as mm. in like the ball bounces up to you. That's not a ye- that shouldn't be a yellow card. No, I no, and I would say that from obviously the, foot, the level of football we're a bit more interested in, as well as obviously lowly, you know, the grassroots level, it does make it easier for referees at that level that it is, regardless, it's a, a pen, it's an infringement of the, you know, the you take out that grey area, which I think grassroots referees need as fewer grey areas as possible because they've got so much on their plate as it is when there's no linos and all of that. So I, I think out of all of them, that's the one I can. It's the only really, one that's sensible. It's a bit more, yeah, sensible. Uh, yeah. The other side of the handball rule. Uh, any goals 
scores involving a hand, intentional or not, yeah. again, will be chalked off now. Yeah. Absolutely, that should be the way. And so we're generally in agreement that we've started with the one and only positive. Yeah, yeah the only yeah, yeah. that we've we'd agreed all, we'd to. We all so sort of agree with you. Yeah. Go on, here's the next one. Uh, next. Right, sorry, let's turn over so the page. Number, one. number two. Okay, another one, a very trivial one this time. Uh, one that takes away some of the tactical elements you guys may work on in set pieces. At oh, this one pisses me off so quick. He really did. Uh, okay. Attacking players are no longer allowed to be in, interfere, or within one meter of the wall. I tell you why this annoys me because I can see this is a, this is a snowball effect. This is the very this is the start before they start to affect other set pieces. So you know the way a Teddy showed him, I will say, was a master at this. You know, where, particularly when David Beckham was taking a free kick. Yeah, yeah, he was. He would just leave on the wall enough just to either take it out of line of the, you know, whatever, or enough that it would, you know, Beckham would find that gap or something. And for me, that's clever tactical play. It's a set piece. I feel like they're trying to take all that contact out of the game. And it's the bit that worries yeah. me. It will be soon, and I reckon it's been our lifetime in football, they will take out that in corners. There'll be a thing oh, in corners yeah, like, or I, something like that where you are not allowed to be a goal Exactly. And if we're going down that route, they will ruin the sport forever. I cannot believe that this is a rule. What, I cannot what believe it. They should actually concentrate on um, is defenders lying on the floor in the wall. I don't think they need to do that though. Because as this new rule proves, if it is if that defender's stupid enough to lie on the floor and it hits his arm, it's a penalty. Do you know what I mean? Like that's Yeah, but he's, not, he's obviously gonna go down well. I don't understand so for me, that is a part of your tactic is if I can nudge that wall a little bit, it's a bit like, okay, do we ban shielding the ball out for a goal kick? Because that's no different, in my opinion. It, you know, you, it's it's you using might, your body to your advantage you ban- without touching the ball. Well, it's like, are you banning taking the ball into the corner? Well, that's, that's the, the point. Where do you draw the line then? It's do, you know, do you know what my biggest problem with this is? Is we're talking about something which is, again, reducing the likelihood of exactly. a goal. Exactly, and I don't get that. And, and with the greatest respect, when you go home from a fan, as a fan from a game, do you talk about a free kick that's gone in the top corner yeah. where the wall's been split and it's yeah, gone in between yeah. them and gone in the top mm. corner? Or do you talk about one that the wall's blocked because yeah. there were no challenge on them? Do you know what the thing and is? the same with my... the handballs. It's an accidental hit of the arm that goes in. Yeah. Yes, you could argue a group it. But again, it's reducing the rate of goals yeah. in the game. My favourite set piece was, the, I, I know I've banged on that before, the Kevin Davis corner routine. You know, oh, when, when Kevin played, Davis. Where he job. had the blocker. All oh, right, might be an slight infringement. You had a blocker where his, his marking was blocked. Bit. Free header at the front post. Goals, goals, goals. That's what it was. And now we're on about. I know that it's a free kick and this is a corner, but it's the same principle for me. You're using your. So it's not can, technically a but foul. But this is if the you, point. If, oh, if you don't really block, block them, block them, they should. Yeah, but the, the so problem is. This is, this is, this is no, no, what, what I mean by is by grabbing them, but, that, then yes, that's a foul. But if you're just using your shoulder just to put them off of it, it's not a foul. But the, just to compare the two rules, so the handball one, I understand the rationale behind that because it was a grey area, it's difficult for referees to make a, a, a clear cut decision. I get why they brought that rule in. I don't understand what the issue was in the first instance that this rule needed to be changed. Like, what was going on that they thought, right, this is ridiculous, this is stop, this is ruining the game, the thing is, this needs to be changed. Can they, you actually they, answer they, that Because no, I, I don't know. No, because they somehow concentrate on the least likely thing when they should be concentrating on defenders grabbing, what, but what, that's defenders the grabbing attackers on corners. But what's wrong with the free kicks as they are now? I want to... Well, if, th- if referees were really concerned about it, why didn't they block for free kicks so, for so, the other way? So why make the change? That's the point I don't understand. I, I want to focus on something slightly more niche within this yeah. role, which is the one metre away from the defensive player in the wall rule. Okay, in the EFL and the Premier League, your Champions League, whatever, that's fine, that's mm. easy, because you've got vanishing spray, whatever, you can mark yeah. out a metre. Are we going to see a one metre radius? Are they going to get their mm. uh, protractor out or their compass every time <laughs> there's a wall so they can do a one metre line? It's true. But in, in non-league, Sunday league, things like that, yeah. how are you measuring a metre? Ah, uh, exactly. I and mean, how are you going to control that one referee? Uh, it's, it's stupid. They don't... For me, I was going to sum this up towards We're the end. adding grey areas in that. Well, one. no, but it's, for me, I was going to add this in at the end. But this this is where decisions are made by people who don't know football, haven't played football, or, or, who, or who, more importantly, aren't in love with football. And this is well, a these, bit that... These were done by ex-referees. More important are ex-elite referees. Yeah, so and referees who know the Premier League, who watch the Premier League, Champions League, whatever. Not referees who are no. at your park on a Sunday I, morning I, or I a want, Saturday I'll, afternoon. I, I, I want to say to them, and this is going to sound like a bit of a, 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 a dramatic, and I really don't want to be like this, but I genuinely, okay, it's not. genuinely how I felt about this. This is. I grew up loving football, you know, in the nineties, and I, I genuinely love football. And I just feel like year by year, it's just being deconstructed down to this this machine that I just I, I actually don't recognise. It's the bit, same sport that I fell in love with. It's been treated like hot I love, and I'm, I'm getting fed up with these bureaucrats in suits and ex elite referees who are nowhere near in touch with the game that like that we play, that we are involved in, that we love. And yet they're ruining it for us. And I just, I don't understand how this happens. Craig makes an excellent point before we crack on with the other three highlights. Yeah. Which is, 
it is being gradually turned into a more commercial sport. Yeah, exactly. So you see with the American sports where you... I will not be shocked if within the next 10 to 15 years, football is turned into a game of four quarters. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So we can get extra uh, efforts. Yeah, Wouldn't yeah, be shocked exactly. at all. No. And the thing but is, you look at the does, American how does, sports... How does that benefit the, the, but not But you, you look at the American sports, they're so technical. They've got, exactly. They've got so many rules. You can't play it as an amateur sport. And that's where football, for me, is going to eventually head. It's so technical. You need so much equipment. You need so much... This other stuff, like you're saying, maybe even a fucking compass, or whatever, that you won't be able to play it as an amateur sport, and it'll just be it'll be the elite level or nothing. I mean, I was I was largely joking with the no, but that's the point, though, isn't it? <laughs> the reason you can't play NFL, for example, is you need fifty odd lads, you need fucking a ten yard chain, you need post, you need all of this, and you can't play that. For that. No, but you can't play it as an amateur sport. They don't have amateur. It's not leagues. as affordable. Yeah, th- that's the way football's going to head eventually. I promise you now. It's it's, I, I, it's really upsetting me, no, Charlie. We're only on two or five. No, I understand. Right, ruining the game. Let love. me try and cheer I'm you up. I'm going to get you more annoyed in the next few rounds. Let me try and cheer you up with the last one of the last three which is the slightly more positive of the three. So under new rules, players will no longer need to be substituted by the fourth official. They yeah. can go off at any point of the pitch. So I have a slight issue with this. Uh, people had said this would stop players from going to the far end yeah. before a 90 minutes sub. That's my but tactic. what stops them from going to the far corner, which is, say, 50 yards away from the referee, I'm saying by the corner flag, where there's no officials, there's no one there, no players... And wait in there until the referee forces him off. Because mm. as long as he stands there and pretends he didn't see his number, yeah, 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 Start he's not going to solve anything, is it? Up socks. Yeah, no, I get that. But I, I, I completely agree. And I think it... that's a great point to be fair. I didn't really think about it. Thank I, you. I that's the first that. time you've ever said that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, you might awesome. use that. There's win at all costs from Crater. <laughs> no, no, but I, I, I see what you. I know. I, I totally agree with you. But again, for me, it's it's another example of how is that going to be. In, um, what's the word? Re- I can't think of the word. But you know, how can a referee at the grassroots level really? But the thing is, yeah, you, you, referees can have to get the player the substitute's name anyway. Yeah, but that's what I mean. So it's, 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 it's a, he's it's basically going to have to see the, the, the guy coming off anyway. All right, he might be on the other side of the field. He's like, yeah, number 10's gone off the pitch, for example. And then you, the referee's going to have to get number 12's name anyway. I, I think that Whether the it. club gets the right name... I it's think it's a lot more chaotic than what you... And it's a non-league, gonna... it's going to lead to a lot more clarity yeah. on admin errors. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Which we've already seen can have such a... It does have drastic, effect. Yeah. Devastating it, effect. De- you get abused. No, but I just I just think... I, I think these rules are so far out of touch. They're, they're, they're to I don't, three I don't, four, they're all for the elite games. I don't yeah. mind the substitute one, in a way. But the thing is, what like for the elite game, for example, you like, say a person gets subbed, like the away team, like yeah. the away player gets subbed, he has to go walk past the home fans... And for, so yes, the way point. we're going, I'm the way we're going, that's a yeah, good way, tight grounds. Yeah, yeah, the way they go, obviously, obviously, we don't want stuff getting thrown, like missiles no, getting thrown. No. And that's what, like, or, like hit abuse, or you never know, mm. it could be the old racial word that you don't really want to hear. Yeah, and unfortunately, you get that it's become... rather than just going straight line straight into the yeah. dugout, rather than I have to go walk past all the, the like the home end, the one corner to another uh, corner. The one thing I would say is that the rule makers, as much as given the incidents particularly that have happened again this year they should be thinking about it realistically in a 21st century society it's not something they should have to think about when no 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 moves. I agree I agree I do I just hope we don't get to the situation like we had in the World Cup last year you know with the fella come on and he scored you oh, know, half the injury, yeah. to I, I know that that couldn't happen because obviously it's it, the ball is dead but just that principle of right has he actually left the pitch have they got 12 lads on the pitch you know all of that sort of stuff I, that's just going to delay the game which is what he's so trying I'm not, not to do I'm not saying that I'm against this role I'm completely neutral to it because we, it's one as we pointed I out there's so many grey areas we need to see how it works the problem is that it's been sold as this huge positive mm-hmm. and I think teams are going to find a way around it soon oh absolutely right. absolutely right uh, these last two now second these, these from are the last one ones. we'll do the uh, we one just, that we don't disagree with quite so much first which is a change to the goal kick rule means that the ball no longer needs to leave the penalty area. So as it stands at the moment, no, no, no. Kick, I, the I, I, this is what, this I know is you one, disagree with it. This is why I disagree. And here's why. But the, worst, the other one's worse. <laughs> here's why I disagree. So, in my opinion, if the goalkeeper fluffs his goal kick and the, ha- the defender has to go in the area to get the ball because obviously the striker will get there first, might get it first, it, I think that the, uh, they should get, uh, the attacking team should get a direct indirect free kick. Agreed. Like, like it's a back pass. Agreed. Mm-hmm. Now, why on earth are we praising... Oh, I know we're trying to encourage playing from the back, but you put more pressure on if you want to play, like, play in the area. Right, get one tackle free. later, one yeah. tackle later, they're about to shoot. They're, they're about five yards out, they might score. I've got a bigger issue with this. The uh, rule that was put in, that's been uh, announced here, there was no mention of any changes to what attacking players can do. Okay? So, 
presuming that, that means attacking players would still need to be out of the area because yeah, from yeah. any set piece they have to so be it, ten yards yeah. off. Yeah, so if if they're allowing this and you've got to say the attacking team can't uh, sorry, the attacking players cannot be in the area, but then what, do we have to go round the outside again well, just so no. you, like, the defender can get six touches in the area? Well, that leads to another issue for because me. Because touches which, that throws in is fair game, isn't it? Yeah, the rule we've mentioned like before, kick. they're trying to take away time wasting. Whether yeah. it's going to work or not, they're trying to take it away. But now, if you're 1-0 up with a minute yeah. to go, your centre-half can go and stand next to the keeper. And someone's got to make an 18-yard run. In theory, then. four players can stand in front of the strikers and make a barricade. But this and is what you can waste get, 20 seconds. Mm. But the thing is, like, if you... Um, Right, right, deflated, goalkeeper. Mate. <laughs> right, but if the goalkeeper t- fluffs his kicker and then the player runs under it, you can still but run for it. It's like a free kick regardless. Fluffing kicks aside, and this is go. I'll go back to the point I made earlier with the other rule. But who cares? What, but what was wrong? What was wrong with the current goal kick system, for want of a better phrase, that this needed to be amended? No, this, this I don't different. know anyone. I don't know anyone in in my lifetime who's come away from football going. Do you know what? I love that. You know, really good game. However, I've got to say, the goal kicks are ropey, aren't they? Like, I just, I don't, I, I don't get what the need. Goal but kicks are ropey in the game. <laughs> I don't get any, what the need. You know, I look at other rule changes that maybe happened earlier on. You know, ninety two or whatever it was, and they got rid of the back pass. I get that because, to be honest, there was times when football was so boring because it was passing on the back, knocking back to the goalkeeper, passing on the back, knocking back to the goalkeeper. See, that's a good. That point. made the game more exciting. How does this, in any way, shape, or form, make the, the game opposite. more exciting? Exactly, and I don't understand what. The point I don't I don't get the point of it. For me, it feels like people are trying to keep their jobs alive by making unnecessary and pointless decisions to to justify the ridiculous some, sums some of money. Some jobs on. worth think. Oh, do you know what? I need to create something, and this re- yeah. And but fact, I, this, so, it doesn't. It doesn't make. It didn't make any so sense. So the idea, I assume, is to, to encourage people to play out from the back if they want to. But you well, can, you already, well, people already are playing from the back. But that makes it, in my opinion, more boring because there's nothing better than seeing a, a, an attacking team. You know, say that the ball goes out for a goal kick. Pressing hard the pitch, so then that team can't play out from the back. Long goal kick, there it is, 50-50, let's get a game You've got again. my point there perfectly, which is, at the moment, the rules are perfect for the goal kick because they allow you to play out from the back. Yeah. And sometimes, if the team gets the press right, it forces you to change mm. your tactic and go long. This which rule, makes it more exciting. This rule means you don't ever have to think. If you want to play out from the back... There is no situation in no. which you won't be able to do. Yeah, that. exactly. It's impossible. What you got to remember is you don't have to actually have to play from out from the back. Mm. You don't have to do no, that. But that's the point. But as 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 but it now you've got minute. twelve yards protection if you do. Where else on a pitch do you get twelve yards protection? Yeah. Well, you already had twelve yards protection to start with. No, well, no, you didn't. No, because the player who was anyway. getting the ball was outside the theory, box and had no protection. In theory, if you drop, say, both your fullbacks off to the edge of your eighteen-yard box to get a, a ball or centre half on the ball from the goalkeeper, in theory, I could stand both my or if I had three up front, all three of those centre forwards next to them, thus if forcing the, the goalkeeper to play it long. Then it becomes a lottery if, ball, if, yeah. making it more exciting. If, if they can't find the same, the attacking team still can't be in the area. Yeah, right? that's what they said. They say that. Well, they haven't said any changes to attacking rules and any set piece at the moment. You have to be ten yards away, so that can't change because that's a wrong. Ridiculous! It's made the game more boring. I like the fifty-fifty when a goalkeeper's under pressure. He hits it long. We go. From if you there. if you've messed up your pass from the goal, if the goalkeeper messed up the pass, that's his own fault. Well, it's well, not even going to be a pass. Well, now. Got, we can, you're basically encouraging the goalkeeper to actually mess up. We can do foot on from a goalkeeper. In fact, in theory, you can roll it with your studs. Not, the, not this. This would be ridiculous. But in theory, what you could do to waste even more time as a goalkeeper from a goalkeeper, you could chip it up to a defender who's a yard away from you, head it back into your hands. You know, fall over, take yeah. another. That's another yeah. thing. Twenty-five yeah. seconds. You know what I mean? Yeah. Ridiculous. But apparently, it's making the game more exciting. Apparently, seeing a goalkeeper chip it to a centre forward. Uh, sorry, centre back. Take back into his hands. So they waste another thirty seconds. Apparently, that's more exciting. That, that might be the most sensible thing you've ever said on this that, podcast. And that is ridiculous. That's Absolutely shocking. Shocking. And, and let me tell you, if I get involved in coaching, I will be trying that. <laughs> take risks, everyone. <laughs> right, let's move on because he's next. The last, two. last one. Sorry, last, last one. one. I thought we done the rest. Two. Well, okay, let's do the rest one first. Uh, the rest this is a joke. <laughs> this, this for me, I'd save this for what I'd hope would be last because it's the worst one for me. Right. I'm gonna let you go and freestyle through the rest of the rules afterwards. Oh, but the penalty ones, obviously. Yeah. Well, yeah, cool. that's what I meant by go freestyle because that's gonna be awful. Uh, referees. We've talked about the flow of the game being important, counter attacking, quick exactly. movement of the game, high tempo. If the ball hits the referee, which let's be honest, it happens quite a lot. It they're only happen. human. They're going to be this, in the way at some point. This is what. <laughs> and Craig, let me say what the rule is first. Some people won't have seen it. If the ball hits the referee, the game will now be paused for a strop ball. Craig Savage, off you go, son. Okay, so all right, so I, you never know. The referee could actually hit a touch, and it, someone hit, actually boots it sixty yards. And now we have to get going at the fucking ball, <laughs> and now we have to waste more time just because he dropped. He messed no, up. No, the bit of just the game. Leave it alone. And I go back to every point I've made about every rule so far. 
What was wrong? What was wrong with the current system? I like, can only no, think... Really, apart from the... And it is so rare that a goal, uh, a ball hits a ref and it actually leads to a goal. I mean, you like to convince yourself... As, as, no, but you like, as a fan... Reason I can think out, of. As a fan, you like to convince yourself that that ball hit the referee, but there was another six or seven passes before the goal was scored. I can't think of a, a single time I've seen a football match where, you know, a, go, a goal is directly led from a referee. Oh. So what otherwise is the point of that rule? I don't, I, I I don't get it. And here, here's the crux of it for me. If I now... No, but it's true. <laughs> You're going to stop the game so often because of a drop ball, this, that, and the other, we're going to stop. I was told when I did a referee's course 15 years ago that a referee is like a piece of equipment. And I mean that in the politest way possible. And by that I mean it's like hitting the post. You carry on playing. I think we had the same uh, course leader. <laughs> yeah, do you know what I mean? It was the same thing. Like, you hit, the ball hits the corner flag, you carry on playing. And that is exactly... I was told, as a referee, that is exactly the same. The you most important thing, you're here to watch the football yeah. match and make sure it's safe. So you do not get involved in turning it, the match. So do we now say, ball hits the corner flag, drop ball. Here's where that, the, no, but because yeah, for me, I understand what you mean. Ball hits the post. Before this ball rule, hits the post. Oh, well, we'll, well, they, 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 they oh, are, we'll get onto that with a penalty. But they are the same entity, the post and the referee, up to before this rule. They were the same entity. They are a piece of equipment. If the ball hits them, you have to play on. Do we right. go drop balls and hit the beach ball? That, that time with Darren Bentham. Well, it should have been. It should have been. Yeah, but, but, that, but how is that the same as an referee? That's an outside referee, agent. Oh, yeah, exactly. That's the point. That's an outside. Their referee's meant to be there. Yeah. Here's what annoys me. Here's where I think this is the flaw. Say, as I said, the attacking team, is, like for example, let's say there's attacking team going for it, and the accident hits the ref, right? There's going to be so many times where players are going to get frustrated. They're going to go, for fuck's sake, ref, and then they're going to get booked for the set. Well, think I, about it. I so you, think, you're desperate for a goal. It's the last minute of the game. I just you're think, pressing. Your ball accidentally hits the referee. Stop ball. Just kill I every think, momentum. You've yeah. led towards quite a good point here, which is. One of the biggest problems, and we mentioned it right back at the very start of this podcast, how do you stop these thousands of referees dropping out every year yeah. for the abuse they're getting, exactly. some physically assaulted and things like that? In a stadium, how many times do you hear the referees are wanker just because the team are losing <laughs> and they can't handle it? And let's be honest, I've heard it at the Luton Ground a hundred yeah. times. Five times the referee's been appalling the other 95. Yeah. Meh. It's not really all I'll the referees. i tell you what, Mike Dean's going to have an absolute field day. When uh, uh, my problem genuinely is... Surely that's going to put more hate on referees. Yeah, exactly. exactly. You're counter-attacking, 30 yards out, the ball clips the referee's heel, stop. You've got a four-on-four, four, but we've got to stop and do a drop yeah. ball now. The team have got oh. eight behind the ball. Well, another situation, you're trying to clear it, accidentally hits, like, literally, clear out of the area, ball actually hits the referee you're the, back the, edge the edge of the area. Unboxing. Exactly. But, but again, stop in the I, game. I, I, Give I'm them a the free kick. You haven't got 10 yards space. The attacking team can't get 10 yards next to the wall. I know. Or the yard, sorry. I know it, doesn't, really it all doesn't make any sense. It's all piling up into one. I'm going to go back really quickly to the point because I know you're not going to be able to answer it, but it's, it's, I'll go back to that original point. What was wrong with the old way of when the ball hit the referee? What What was the issue? Like I say, the pass back rule I think changed makes, the game, I think, made I it more exciting. I, mean, I think it makes it exciting if it hits the referee. What was wrong with the old People rule? People go, well, I can't answer. Oh. There's not enough time for adverts or focus on the advertising for them. <laughs> I go back to the point I made halfway through, which I was trying to say for the end. That the game that I grew up loving has now been ruined by people who well, don't love the game. As of July. Well, as of July. <laughs> it is being ruined by people who don't, in my opinion, don't love the game. Because if you love the game of football, if you love that everything is it, it, it's at its heart, and we've spoken about this over weeks, about football in, you know, blooming Kashmir and all of that, that all, that all gets forgotten about when they make stupid rules like this, because for them, it's about money, it's about corporate this, corporate that, and it's ruining the game that, that I adore. Because if you loved football, you wouldn't disrupt the flow of it. You wouldn't reduce the number of goals. You wouldn't take away the physicality from it. You wouldn't take away the exciting mon- uh, moments from those games. Just if you loved football, you wouldn't do that. And that's I... why these people are making these decisions don't love football, and but they're ruining it for people like us who do love football. I've got a quick question that's just popped into my head. For leagues like the Republic of Ireland and things like that that run winter to winter, yeah. those rule changes are going to be halfway through a season. Well, MLS it. as well, maybe. Yeah, that's insane. Ridiculous. They're gonna have to delay it. But again, it's that, that they're not big money leagues, are they? So well, they don't care about that. Is, what, is, respect, they don't. You know, what, they don't what? care about that. La Liga, Bundesliga, Premier League. That's what, what I can't understand. Is why haven't they trialed it? You have to trial it somewhere because are we supposed to, like first game of the season? Everyone's gonna be blade bored of it. And like, oh, this is annoying. This More is more importantly. So it creates have... confusion in the stadium. It creates resentment towards the referees because the fans will be going, "What? What the fuck's he doing? This didn't happen in the last game." But the referee's actually doing the right thing. Exactly. Killing the game again. You're spot on. We are all in agreement, which is very rare. And the rule changes to the game from next season could it's be the joke. biggest thing towards the ruinment of the beauty. I don't, I bet you by December, 
this would get changed back to normal. I, no I, I sincerely hope you're right because it is ruining it is ruining the game that I love. Agreed, and I hate that. But no chance. And that is it for our discussion on the uh, rule changes. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave around, a comment below. <laughs> Please do because I think this is such a topical thing and honestly people don't start getting behind the change on this. Let's have a tell, vote tell down us in the comments. You What's your worst one? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, vote in the comments. Click on the eye button. We'll have a little poll there. <laughs> you can follow us on Twitter if you want to leave us a message at Honest Football Free. And we'll see you next time.